you're nervous. What's up with the snooping around? Oh, he was caught. What's up with you lying about your family? What? I've never had a boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? So she wasn't, but you misunderstood. She meant the final heart and the finale are getting close. Yes, today we are back with the next part of Switch. If you have not seen the others, catch up on the playlist somewhere over there. But Tony was curious. He was very curious trying to figure out who hurt Harley in the past. Now, he overheard some things. He thought a boy hurt her in the past or a girl hurt her in the past before. But come to find out, it might not really be like that. He was trying to beat around the bush and do all this extra stuff with her family trying to figure this out. But at the very end, they're finally talking about things and we're getting close to the big reveal. So let's see what happens because I need to know who hurt Harley. Some people have some really good theories. One of the popular theories I saw in the comments was that it was actually her father who was the person who hurt her. And it wasn't technically from a relationship, which I really, really like that theory. And I'm going to have to say it might be. I'm going to have to put my stamp on that one of my vote. We'll see if it comes true. Please go follow the amazing author Elusa. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Okay, this is where we left off. It, she met my father. <laughs> well, <laughs> the theory checks out. First sentence and here we are. Here we are. What do you mean your father? My father left me and my mother when she got pregnant. I've never really met him. I learned everything after I read my mom's journals. But the fact is, he was a big player. The fact he just left when she was pregnant? Trash. Absolute trash. When my mother first laid eyes on him at a party, she was only 17 years old and he was a year her senior. He was very flirty, very charming, always surrounded by a group of thirsty girls. Despite all of the attention, he decided to flirt with my mom and she felt like the luckiest person in the world. They began dating just before her exam to get into the music university, but things didn't go as expected. When my mom discovered she was pregnant with me, she hoped that my father would support her, but he didn't want to have anything to do with her and left her on her own. Mm. I hope karma got him real good. I really hope it did. The abandonment left my mother heartbroken. She struggled but with pregnancy and the pain of rejection. Poor thing, she should not have to go through that. But in spite of everything, she had the strength to carry me to term and raise me on her own. I don't know what to say. She had to give up on college and take a job at the bar to earn some money. But if your father left you, what about your sisters? That's where he gets even worse. My mom met another guy in a bar when I was six. He was the same type as my father. Handsome, charming. And he left the city once he found out my mom was pregnant with twins. Her type is just not working. The next time she does, she thinks someone's attractive, go for the opposite. It's just this type is not working. She never heard from him again. That's awful. And you've never discussed it. Didn't you ask where your dad was? I did. My mom didn't want to talk about it ever. I had to find her journals and... I saw reading about her swooning over my father was just disgusting. That asshole didn't have a second thought about leaving us. He never even came back to meet me and... And my mom's life was ruined. She never got the education she deserved. She never took proper care of me or my sisters. I had to basically raise them since she was always working just to make sure we had food on our table and a place to live. I just swore to myself that I'd, that you what? That I'd never fall for something like that. Uh-oh, uh, Harley, that's why you hated me at the beginning. I mean, I didn't know you back then, but it's true. I never even wanted to be close to you. My mom was the one to fall fast and hard and it ruined her life. But I was different. I felt I had an advantage. I've never felt that attached to boys. I've never had a big crush on someone or felt strong physical attraction. But, but that changes when I get to know someone closely. Do you think you know me closely? I don't know. I feel like there's still a lot of things nobody knows about you. I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about it, about your commitment issues and all. It's not like that. Harley was an asshole move to abandon a child. You and your mother didn't deserve that. We didn't, but what would you do if you knock someone up? I wouldn't. But if you did, if Penny got pregnant or Tiffany, they're not pregnant. But what if one of them was? I'm not 15. I know how to protect myself. It wouldn't have happened. You're missing the point of this conversation. Hey, fine. 
I don't love Penny and I certainly wouldn't want to have anything to do with Tiffany, but I'd never abandon my child. Okay, probably wouldn't be in a romantic relationship with any of them, but I never abandoned my kid's mom to fend for herself. She'd get my support no matter what. It's my responsibility too. Good for Ronnie. You're right. I'm sorry for comparing you to that asshole. I don't blame you. It was an asshole for quite some time. And it's normal for you to come back to your experiences in cases like that. Let's just say I compared many people to some cases from my past. And it wasn't a good way to do it, but I guess it's some way of protecting ourselves. We're, we're really getting places through with this little heart-to-heart -heart talk. What do you mean? You said you're careful with people after what that guy did to your mom. I've been careful too, so I know how it feels. So what happened? So no boyfriend. No, I'm pretty inexperienced in that field. We can work on that. And that's why I tell you to leave. Heart, it's not even a single kiss after such a dramatic topic. Oh, kiss. Oh, kiss. You might as well. We're at that point. It's not like it's never been happening yet. It's happened. Now, I think you're quite busy tonight. You mean tutoring, a fencing session, and a basketball training? I can reschedule. I don't want you to reschedule. You've done enough for me. Go do your runny things. I have swimming class anyway. Let me walk you out. My tutoring session is right next to the pool. Okay, so we really learned a lot about Harley and some of her past experiences. Thank you once again for helping me today. It really means a lot to me. No problem. Your sisters love me. Oh, we still have to go with that little experience. The dinner? I want to say the lunch or dinner with them. They do. It's 6 p.m. tomorrow, okay, for you. I thought about taking my family to Bernie's. It's more than okay. See you there. See you. He's so sweet. It's a dream. Wow, look at you. What a cute, foolish couple. Why are you here, Dolores? Why are you here? Oh, it's you. Do you really think you can get a few good grades in class and get Ronnie's attention? I thought you'd get the picture after the club incident. Was it you who stole my outfit? Oh, I want to slap her. I want to slap her. But we can't get in trouble with the dean, so I'm not. So deep breaths, you're better than that. And we got a point, thank goodness. It doesn't matter. I just didn't expect you to be desperate enough to wear the rabbit suit just to seduce him. I didn't do it to seduce anyone. That's all they had, and we were leaving the club. Sure, you didn't seem to mind his attention, though. Are you okay, Dolores? Is everything okay? Because it doesn't seem like that. Do you feel special that he's finally noticed someone like you? You know nothing about me. I know you think you're so different from everyone else, huh? Do you know how long your tricks will work on him a week tops? Girl, it's been months. It's been months. We're fine. We're doing fine. What about you? He doesn't want to talk to you, so... Harley is doing something correct, unlike somebody in this picture right here. I've never seen a girl who wasn't dumped after one night with him. Well, that's funny because it's been multiple nights. Really, if that's the case, then why are you so obsessed with him? Yeah, I just like fun and he's fun. Well, maybe he's not interested in fun anymore. You should get over people that don't want to hang out with you. Maybe then you'll be less bitter. What did you say? Go find someone who cares about your bullshit. If you approach me ever again, your nose won't be in the same place. I guess you don't need advice, huh? You'll learn. Many girls have been where you are right now and none of them survived a week. That's funny because it's been weeks. A week. A week. Why can't I stop thinking about it? Don't let her get to you, Harley. Remember, it's been weeks with Ronnie. And are you going out? Is she just... Dolores. Yeah, it's, she's just bitter. She's jealous and bitter because she wanted a chance with Ronnie and now she's not going to get it because Ronnie's player days are over. Are you going out? Yeah, with my sisters and mom. Oh, they came to visit. Surprising, right? Yes, they just showed up. Guess who else is going? Don't say that. My sisters were so charmed by Ronnie that they invited him for dinner. That's so cute. Are you excited? Yeah, I think so. Pretty much. Why the long face? I just heard something very upsetting today. And I know it's not true, but at the same time, it's playing over and over in my head. About Ronnie? Yeah, some kind of reality check that he changes girls every other week. Oh, come on. Who would want to hang out with a girl's family if they weren't interested? Like, I love to meet Quentin's parents. I heard they're amazing. Just have a nice time, okay? Sure. Oh, don't let it get to you, Harley. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Oh, a family dinner isn't that cute. It's, what are you doing here? Where's the, that complaining ass that he's been taking care of? Oh, thank goodness. We have swooned Ronnie now. Player Ronnie. 
trash can. I can't believe it's been ages. Yeah, you're right. I didn't know that. That I still exist. Don't worry. So what will you wear? It must be fancy. Um, you need to make a good impression. Maybe even set things straight. She's waiting for a move. Don't worry. Parents always love you. I... You have to meet my parents. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait. I'm a bit stressed. Don't be all parents love you. Hey, hey, don't do that. Harley's not like her, I guess. Now go away. I have to dress up. Dad? Ronald? I'm sorry, what? Who are you? And why do you look so angry? What's wrong with your face? What are you doing here? <laughs> this what it's family weekend i wanted to see my beloved son that face did not look so beloved i didn't it was a joke i'm here because you made a mess oh you mean i mean you fooling my business partners to get an invitation to the engagement party oh oh yeah, I don't remember that. So I got a call from Rebecca's father that I was saying to talk about business. Oh, what did you tell him? I played along. What do you think? You're enough of an embarrassment. Enough of embarrassment? Doesn't the whole school love Ronnie? Isn't he like Mr. Perfect Grades, Sports, etc.? Embarrassment. Then he told me that you sabotaged his daughter's party. I see Rebecca's father still a bit salty. She ran off with some lesbian girl and you lectured him? Yes, yes, she ran off with her future partner to be happy. And of course we lectured him because he didn't care about his daughter. I have my reasons, believe me. And what are these reasons? Nothing you have to worry about if you're going to march in here and talk like that. I am worried this behavior is absolutely unacceptable. Did you forget what family you're representing? If you came here to rant about your legacy, I have better things to do. One more word and you'll lose the apartment. What does that mean? It means that your fund will be cut and you're going back home. And what, you'll force me to drop studies? That's a good one. Not at all. I already talked to a local college in Texas. They're eager to give you a shot. No way. I'm not leaving Washington. I have friends in the future here. You will if I want you to. This place only brings only problems. You show up once a year to make sure that I'm not ruining your reputation? You know I'm busy and it's not about that I... What do you want from me? I arranged a meeting for you. It should make you feel better. I don't need to feel better. Don't lie to me. I can see you're not doing well. The only reason we're not doing well is because you're standing in our doorway right here talking like this. That's the reason we don't look well right now. How would you know? I know more than you think. I know you dropped a lot of classes lately and missed a few important exams. Allegedly sick. Oh shit. Oh, it's not like that. Then tell me how it is. I'm all ears. Why would we tell you anything? You march in here, run in your mouth like this, and you expect... You wouldn't understand. You would not understand. You literally you would not understand. And then you get angry. Fine, I'll go to that stupid meeting. Where do you want me to go? Be at fine dine in 20 minutes. You have a table. It's not negotiable. 20 minutes. Where is he at 6 p.m.? Didn't Ronnie Sale show up? I wanted to see him. Yeah, me too. Your friend isn't the most punctual one. Something must have come up. It's not like him. Maybe call him or something. I don't know if we should order. I wonder what came up. Oh, he's messaging me. Sorry, I'm helping my father with something. I can't come. Oh, okay. Is it true? He's helping his dad, but he said he hates his father. Well, hardly even believe it. I hate my father. But it's sort of help, isn't it? I wonder who the hell he invited this time. Would it be a therapist or a tutor? Ronnie. That voice. No. Stop crying like a baby. We were never meant to be together. Ronnie, it's nice to see you. What are you doing here? Oh, is this the person from his past? We've had little snippets that someone really heard him in his past. I talked to your father and... What? Excuse me? Rude. Calm down. What do you think you're doing? You invited Ellen. She wanted to meet with you. You two changed and it's a chance for you to figure things out. Just when I thought you couldn't pull anything worse than moving out. I didn't leave you. I was there more than your mother. You both sucked, okay? Just give it a shot. It could be beneficial for you. If you think of ditching her without talking, I'm going to contact your dean. You wouldn't. 
And I'll mention your mother covering up your fake sickness. Come on, it's crazy. I don't want to talk to Alan. It's not negotiable, Ronald. Just try and you'll see you figure things out. Dad? Wonderful. Oh shit, Harley's calling. I can't talk to her now. This is a mess. He's not answering. I told you he's fishy. I don't even know why I asked for your help. Because the guy ditched you and you want to spend time with your best friend? It's just Ronnie. He's always busy. I was surprised that he'd even find time for dinner. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he was with a girl right now. Come on, you're awful. Fine, I'm sorry. I won't whine about him anymore, deal. Good, because his evening will be a disaster if you continue. Oh, they're going to run into him, I bet. Fine, dine. They have takeaway burgers. I just ate. I did it and my training was very demanding. Fine, let's go to fine dine. It was rude, you know? What's rude? To storm out like that, I just want to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I see. Why are you even here? I doubt it's for me. It is for you. What? I heard a lot about you. You've changed, and... And I wanted to fix things between us. See, I don't trust this girl because the fact that she's already close with the father, I don't trust. And second off, that little flashback scene, she did not seem very nice. (laughs) 